every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, and, and anyone who takes that the wrong way know why they take it the wrong way. Cat Williams, known for his unfiltered and fearless approach, sat down for a nearly three hour interview on the podcast club Shay Shay where he fearlessly called out the mistreatment of black actors in the industry. With his trademark wit and candor, Williams reveals the truth behind the scenes, shedding light on the deliberate clowning of black actors by the Hollywood establishment. All of these uh, big deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you did or whoever you is. From outrageous claims to personal grievances, Williams leaves no stone unturned in this eye-opening interview. The truth. In his explosive interview on Club Shay Shay, Cat Williams didn't hold back when it came to discussing fellow comedian Kevin Hart. Williams made bold claims about Hart's rise to fame and the alleged lack of support he received from the Hollywood industry. According to Williams, in his 15 years in Hollywood, no one can recall a sold out Kevin Hart show or a standing ovation at any comedy club. Williams questioned how Hart managed to secure his own sitcom and lead a film called Soul Plane in his first year in Los Angeles a feat unheard of for any comedian. Williams went on to reveal that during a five-year period, every movie that Kevin Hart did had been on his desk first. Williams claimed that he had requested changes to the scripts, removing what he referred to as step and fetch it shit and toning down overtly homosexual content. However, Williams alleged that his suggestions were ignored and the scripts were given to Hart, who performed them as they were originally written. Williams expressed frustration at the lack of credit he received for his ideas and the perception that he was a troublemaker for standing up for his standards. Furthermore, Williams criticized the notion that there are no gatekeepers in Hollywood, pointing out that the same individuals seem to have the power to open doors for certain comedians. He specifically mentioned how Kevin Hart allegedly helped Tiffany Haddish gain entry into the industry. These revelations by Cat Williams shed light on the inner workings of Hollywood and raise important questions about the fairness and opportunities available to black actors. Williams' claims suggest that there may be a lack of diversity and equal opportunities for black comedians, with certain individuals being favored and others being overlooked. It is important to note that these are Cat Williams' allegations and perspectives, and they may not represent the entire truth or the experiences of all black actors in Hollywood. However, his candidness and willingness to speak out against the industry's practices have sparked a larger conversation about representation and fairness. During his interview on Club Shay Shay, Cat Williams didn't shy away from discussing his grievances with fellow comedian Cedric the Entertainer. Williams made bold claims about Cedric's career and questioned his status as a movie star. According to Williams, Cedric's supposed talents as a singer, dancer, and joke writer were all exaggerated. Williams alleged that Cedric couldn't sing, couldn't dance, and didn't write his own jokes. Williams went on to criticize Cedric's comedy specials, claiming that they were so bad that they weren't even available on popular streaming platforms like Netflix or Tubi. He pointed out that Cedric's lack of success in the comedy world contradicted his self-proclaimed title as The Entertainer. Williams suggested that Cedric's inability to excel in various aspects of entertainment undermined his claim to stardom. These revelations by Cat Williams shed light on the illusion of stardom in Hollywood and the importance of talent and genuine comedic skills. Williams' claims suggest that there may be individuals in the industry who have achieved success without possessing the necessary skills or talent. This raises questions about the criteria for success in Hollywood and the role of genuine talent versus marketing and image building. In his interview on Club Shay Shay, Cat Williams didn't shy away from discussing controversial rapper Kanye West. Williams delved into the complexities of West's public persona and the scrutiny he faces due to his mental health struggles. Williams questioned society's treatment of individuals with mental illnesses and the expectations placed upon them. He argued that if someone is deemed to have special needs or a mental illness, they should be graded on a curve and not held to the same standards as others. Williams also addressed West's marriage to Kim Kardashian, referring to her as a and suggesting that their relationship was based on a mutual understanding and desire for a certain image. He claimed that West courted Kardashian and deliberately chose to base his family on her reputation. Williams further questioned the validity of their relationship by pointing out Kardashian's subsequent involvement with comedian Pete Davidson. Also, during his interview on Club Shay Shay, Cat Williams dropped a bombshell revelation about disgraced Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein. Williams claimed that he was canceled for speaking out about Weinstein even before the allegations against him came to light. According to Williams, Weinstein made a shocking proposition to him, offering to perform a sexual act in front of Williams and his agency colleagues. Williams expressed his disbelief at the situation, highlighting the power dynamics at play 
and the pressure he felt as the only black person in the script. He questioned the actions of others who may have complied with Weinstein's request and wondered why he was being canceled for refusing. Williams' revelation sheds light on the dark side of Hollywood, where powerful individuals may abuse their positions and engage in inappropriate behavior. By discussing Harvey Weinstein, Cat Williams brings attention to the systemic issues within the entertainment industry and the mistreatment that can occur behind closed doors. His candidness serves as a reminder that not all that glitters in Hollywood is gold, and that there are individuals who have been silenced or punished for speaking out against powerful figures. In his candid interview on Club Shay Shay, Cat Williams didn't hold back when discussing fellow comedian Steve Harvey. Williams challenged the narrative surrounding Harvey's success and questioned the authenticity of his claims. According to Williams, Harvey's rise to fame was not as straightforward as it seemed. Williams alleged that Harvey stopped doing stand-up comedy after a comedy battle with Williams himself. He claimed that during the championship of stand-up comedy in Detroit, Williams exposed Harvey's baldness, which led to Harvey's decision to step away from stand-up. Williams suggested that Harvey's subsequent claims of leaving stand-up due to having multiple TV shows were a fabrication. Furthermore, Williams called out Harvey's alleged inconsistencies in his storytelling. He pointed out that Harvey had previously claimed to have been homeless, but Williams argued that this was not true. Williams cited Mark Curry, who had toured with Harvey 25 years ago and stated that Harvey was making a substantial income from his comedy shows. Williams questioned why Harvey would create a false narrative about his past and rewrite history. In his no-holds-barred interview on Club Shay Shay, Cat Williams also didn't shy away from discussing the experiences of black comedians in Hollywood. He specifically addressed the careers of Michael Blackson and Chris Tucker, shedding light on the challenges they faced and the impact of Hollywood's expectations on their comedic style. Williams criticized Michael Blackson, referring to him as a real African who puts on a fake African accent. He questioned Blackson's claim to be the African king of comedy, suggesting that there are comedians in Africa who are more deserving of that title. Williams argued that if Blackson truly wanted to represent African comedy, he should establish a school in Africa and put in the necessary work to elevate the craft. Turning his attention to Chris Tucker, Williams challenged the perception of Tucker as the same comedian who portrayed the iconic character Smokey in the film Friday. He claimed that Tucker didn't want to be associated with smoking weed and distanced himself from that image. Williams also questioned Tucker's authenticity, pointing out his close friendship with Michael Jackson and the nickname given to him by the late pop star. Additionally, Cat Williams didn't shy away from discussing the challenges faced by black actresses in Hollywood. He specifically highlighted the experiences of Taraji P. Henson, shedding light on the pay disparity and lack of recognition for her talent and contributions to the industry. Williams expressed his admiration for Henson's talent and success, emphasizing that she had reached the top of her lane and had become one of the most prominent black actresses in Hollywood. However, he revealed that despite her accomplishments, Henson faced unfair treatment when it came to pay. Williams claimed that Henson was not being compensated appropriately for her work and her pay remained stagnant while newer actresses were being paid the same amount. Furthermore, Williams criticized the industry's practice of undervaluing black actresses and failing to recognize their worth. He questioned the fairness of a system that would not acknowledge Henson's status as one of the top actresses in her niche and failed to offer her the compensation she deserved. Williams argued that this disparity was indicative of a larger problem within Hollywood, where black talent is often overlooked and underpaid. By discussing Taraji P. Henson's experiences, Cat Williams brings attention to the struggles faced by black actresses in Hollywood and the need for equal pay and recognition. His candid perspective encourages a critical examination of the industry's practices and the importance of valuing and supporting black talent. But even though Cat Williams was very vocal about the struggles of being a black entertainer, his candid thoughts stepped on the toes of quite a number of people. The Reactions in the wake of Cat Williams' controversial comments, fellow comedian Dave Chappelle took the stage at Mondere's at the Hollywood Improv and delivered a powerful response. Chappelle, known for his thought-provoking and unfiltered comedy, didn't hold back as he addressed Williams' insults. During his set, Chappelle questioned the motives behind Williams' comments, pointing out that Williams seemed to only target black comedians and spared the white comedians from his criticism. Chappelle expressed his confusion, asking, what part of the game is this? He only ethered n****. He didn't say anything about any of these white boys. None of these white boys function like that. Chappelle went on to acknowledge Williams' talent, 
describing him as one of the best painters in the game. However, he urged Williams to stop drawing ugly pictures of their community. Chappelle's passionate defense of his fellow comedians resonated with many, as he called for unity and support within the comedy community. Impersonating Williams, Chappelle questioned whether Williams had done anything wrong himself, highlighting the fact that Williams was focusing on the wrong issues. Chappelle emphasized that Williams was talking about the wrong things, focusing on what other people had done to him, rather than addressing the larger issues affecting the black community. Chappelle then shared a personal anecdote, hinting at his own struggles and the sacrifices he has made in his career. He alluded to a story that, if told, would break hearts, suggesting that he had faced hardships and challenges, but had never betrayed anyone. Chappelle's vulnerability and authenticity struck a chord with the audience, further solidifying his status as a respected and influential voice in the comedy world. Despite his criticism of Williams, Chappelle made it clear that he still had respect for him. He acknowledged that he f***ed with Cat hard, but questioned why Williams would call out his peers when they were all striving to improve their situations. Chappelle's response to Williams' interview has sparked a larger conversation about the boundaries of comedy and the responsibility of comedians to uplift and support one another. As the story continues to unfold, it remains to be seen how Williams and the comedy community will navigate this controversy. Will there be a resolution or reconciliation, or will the tensions persist? Additionally, comedian Bruce Bruce recently shared his perspective on Cat Williams' Club Shay Shay interview during an appearance on the Kenny Smooth Morning Show. Bruce, known for his comedic prowess and straightforward approach, didn't hold back as he weighed in on the matter. Bruce began by giving credit to Steve Harvey, recalling past advice that Harvey had given him. He shared how Harvey had encouraged him to dress in a more professional manner when performing on stage, which ultimately influenced Bruce's decision to wear suits. This anecdote highlighted the respect and admiration Bruce had for Harvey, setting the stage for his thoughts on Williams' interview. Bruce expressed his disagreement with Williams' decision to air out his peers in such a public manner. He emphasized the importance of addressing issues directly and having open conversations instead of resorting to public insults. Bruce's straightforward approach to conflict resolution was evident as he stated, if you got a problem with me, come talk to me. Don't talk about me, come talk to me like a man and let's get it out, let's work it out. In a lighthearted manner, Bruce humorously mentioned that if he were in Williams's position, he would have taken a more direct approach. He playfully referenced the legendary wrestler Stone Cold Steve Austin, suggesting that he would have confronted Williams face to face, ready to engage in a physical altercation if necessary. Bruce's comments showcased his authenticity and willingness to stand up for himself and his peers. Bruce acknowledged Williams's talent and the success he had achieved, but he made it clear that he wouldn't have taken a public diss from his peer lightly. He emphasized that airing grievances publicly could lead to further problems, especially if the accusations turned out to be false. While Bruce expressed hope for reconciliation among the comedians involved, he made it clear that he wasn't holding his breath. He acknowledged the potential for ongoing tension and the challenges of repairing relationships after such public confrontations. Bruce's perspective added another layer to the ongoing conversation surrounding Williams' interview. His straightforward and no-nonsense approach resonated with many, highlighting the importance of open communication and addressing conflicts directly. Cat Williams' controversial interview has had a profound impact on the comedy community. The shockwaves from his scathing comments about fellow black comedians continue to reverberate, sparking intense discussions and debates among comedians and fans alike. One of the immediate effects of Williams' interview was the division it created within the comedy community. Supporters of the targeted comedians rallied behind them, defending their talent, hard work, and contributions to the industry. Many fans expressed their disappointment in Williams, questioning his motives, and criticizing his decision to publicly insult his peers. The controversy also highlighted the ongoing conversation about the boundaries of comedy. Comedians have long pushed the envelope, using humor to address sensitive topics and challenge societal norms. However, Williams's comments raised questions about the line between edgy comedy and personal attacks. Some argued that comedy should be a space for unity and support, while others defended Williams's right to express his opinions, even if they were controversial. The impact of Williams's interview extended beyond the comedy community itself. The controversy garnered significant attention from the media and the public, with the interview going viral and even being parodied on Saturday Night Live. This heightened exposure brought the conversation about the interview to a wider audience, further fueling the discussions and debates surrounding the topic. The fallout from the interview also had implications for the careers of the comedians involved. 
While some argued that any publicity is good publicity, others expressed concerns about the potential damage to reputations and future opportunity. The controversy forced comedians to navigate a delicate balance between defending themselves and their peers while also maintaining professionalism and avoiding further escalation. As the dust begins to settle, the comedy community is left to grapple with the aftermath of Williams's interview. Will there be a path to reconciliation and understanding, or will the tensions persist? Only time will tell how this controversy will shape the future of comedy and the relationships among comedians. In the aftermath of Cat Williams's controversial interview, the comedy community finds itself at a crossroads. While the tensions and divisions caused by his comments are still palpable, there remains a glimmer of hope for reconciliation and a brighter future for the comedy community. Comedians, fans, and industry professionals have engaged in discussions about the importance of unity and support within the comedy world. Many have called for open dialogue and understanding, recognizing that conflicts can be resolved through respectful conversations and a willingness to listen to different perspectives. Some comedians have already taken steps towards reconciliation. Private conversations and behind-the-scenes efforts to mend relationships have been reported, suggesting that there is a genuine desire to move past the controversy and rebuild bridges. The comedy community has always been resilient, adapting to changing times and evolving societal norms. It has weathered storms before, and it is likely to do so again. Comedians have a unique ability to bring people together through laughter, and this shared purpose may serve as a catalyst for healing and growth. Moving forward, it is crucial for comedians to continue supporting one another and fostering a sense of camaraderie. By focusing on their shared love for the craft and their commitment to making people laugh, they can create a more inclusive and supportive environment. The future of comedy lies in the hands of the comedians themselves. They have the power to shape the narrative, redefine boundaries, and set new standards for the industry. By embracing diversity, promoting empathy, and encouraging collaboration, they can pave the way for a more inclusive and vibrant comedy community. But who is this man, Cat Williams, who has sparked so much conversation in such a short time? Well, let's take a look at all the controversies that have plagued Cat Williams. The man, from sparking feuds with fellow celebrities like Kevin Hart and Jamie Foxx, to getting involved in bar fights and physical altercations, Cat Williams has left a lasting impression on the entertainment industry. Despite his undeniable comedic talent, his wild behavior and legal troubles have often overshadowed his success. In November 2006, Cat Williams found himself in the midst of a shocking incident that would forever be etched in his legacy. While most of us struggle with tiny bottles of shampoo, laptops, and shoelaces at airport security, Williams defied all FAA protocols and attempted to board a plane at Los Angeles International Airport, LAX, with a handgun packed in his suitcase. But here's the kicker. The handgun was stolen. As the news of Williams' arrest spread like wildfire, the world couldn't help but be captivated by the audacity of his actions. How could a comedian, known for his quick wit and hilarious performances, find himself in such a precarious situation? It was a moment that would forever change the public's perception of Cat Williams. The consequences of his actions were severe. Williams was sentenced to three years probation, a punishment that would hang over his head for years to come. But that wasn't the only price he had to pay. From that moment on, every time Williams stepped foot on an airplane, he would be subjected to intrusive full-body searches, a constant reminder of the choices he had made. The incident at LAX not only shocked the public, but also raised questions about Williams' state of mind. How could someone with such talent and success make such a reckless decision? It was a moment that forced people to confront the complexities of fame and the pressures that come with it. For Williams, the arrest was a wake-up call. It served as a turning point in his life, forcing him to reevaluate his choices and the path he was on. It was a moment of reckoning, a moment that would shape the trajectory of his career and personal life. But despite the gravity of the situation, Williams' comedic genius couldn't be contained. Even in the face of adversity, he managed to find humor in the darkest of moments. His ability to make people laugh became a coping mechanism, a way to navigate the challenges that lay ahead. As the years went by, Williams would reflect on that fateful day at LAX. It would become a part of his narrative, a reminder of the mistakes he had made and the lessons he had learned. It was a moment that would forever be etched in his legacy, a testament to the complexities of fame and the human experience. In February 2010, Cat Williams faced a financial crisis that would rock his world and leave him on the brink of losing everything. Despite his huge success on MTV's Wild and Out and My Wife and Kids, 
Williams' bankroll wasn't enough to pay his bills. The comedian and actor found himself facing foreclosure on his lavish Los Angeles mansion, a symbol of his once flourishing career. The news of Williams' financial troubles sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry. How could someone who had achieved such fame and fortune find themselves in such dire straits? It was a stark reminder that success in Hollywood doesn't always guarantee financial stability. As the details of Williams' financial woes emerged, the public couldn't help but wonder how he had fallen so far. Reports suggested that extravagant spending and mismanagement of funds had contributed to his dire situation. It was a cautionary tale for anyone who believed that fame and fortune were synonymous with financial security. But amidst the turmoil, Williams remained resilient. He refused to let his financial troubles define him or dampen his spirit. Instead, he used his comedic talents to navigate the difficult times, finding humor in the darkest of situations. It was a testament to his resilience and determination to overcome adversity. The foreclosure proceedings cast a shadow over Williams' career, but he refused to let it consume him. He continued to perform, using his comedic prowess to entertain audiences and provide an escape from the harsh realities of life. It was during these challenging times that Williams' true character shone through, proving that he was more than just a comedian. He was a survivor. As the years went by, Williams managed to turn his financial situation around. Through hard work and perseverance, he was able to regain control of his finances and rebuild his career. The foreclosure became a distant memory, a reminder of the obstacles he had overcome. Looking back, Williams' experience with foreclosure served as a valuable lesson for both himself and his fans. It was a reminder that success is not always permanent and that financial stability requires careful planning and responsible decision-making. Williams's journey from facing foreclosure to reclaiming his success became an inspiration for others who found themselves in similar situations. But beyond the financial implications, Williams's experience also highlighted the pressures and challenges that come with fame. The public often sees the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, but rarely do they witness the struggles that lie beneath the surface. In November 2010, Cat Williams found himself in the midst of another shocking incident that would further cement his reputation as a controversial figure. Facing hard financial times, Williams made a desperate and ill-advised decision that would have serious consequences. Police arrested the actor on a film set in Georgia for stealing $3,500 worth of jewelry and coins. The news of Williams's arrest sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry and left fans and critics alike questioning his judgment. How could someone with his talent and success resort to such desperate measures? It was a moment that highlighted the pressures of fame and the length some individuals would go to maintain their lifestyle. The arrest not only tarnished Williams's reputation, but also added another line to his rap sheet, this time for burglary and criminal trespassing. The consequences of his actions were severe, both financially and legally. Williams had to pay a hefty $40,000 bail, further exacerbating his already dire financial situation. As the details of the theft emerged, it became clear that Williams's actions were driven by desperation. The financial strain he was under had put him to do something unthinkable. It was a stark reminder that even those who seem to have it all can be plagued by personal and financial challenges. But amidst the controversy, Williams's comedic talent remained undeniable. He continued to perform, using his humor as a coping mechanism and a way to connect with his audience. It was during these difficult times that his ability to find laughter in the face of adversity truly shone through. The arrest for theft served as a wake-up call for Williams. It forced him to confront the consequences of his actions and reevaluate the choices he had made. It was a moment of reckoning, a turning point in his life that would shape the trajectory of his career and personal growth. In the years that followed, Williams worked tirelessly to rebuild his reputation and regain control of his life. He used his experiences as a source of inspiration, incorporating the lessons he had learned into his comedy. It was a testament to his resilience and determination to overcome the challenges he had faced. Williams also had something to do with an assault that left the public stunned. Reports emerged that Williams was involved in an altercation that resulted in three women assaulting a tractor driver. The women allegedly pummeled the driver with rocks and dirt, causing significant facial injuries. As a result, Williams was arrested for a felony intimidation of a witness and released on $50,000 bail. The news of Williams' arrest for assault sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry and left fans and critics alike questioning his behavior. How could someone known for their comedic talents be involved in such a violent incident? It was a moment that challenged the public's perception of Williams and raised concerns about his personal life. In August 2011, Cat Williams also found himself at the center of a firestorm of controversy 
after a shocking incident during one of his performances. It was a night that would forever be etched in the memories of those in attendance and would leave a lasting impact on Williams's legacy. During a set at the Celebrity Theater in Arizona, Williams lashed out on a racial tirade against a heckler. The heckler, identified as being of Mexican descent, became the target of Williams' anger and frustration. In a moment of unchecked emotion, Williams yelled at the audience member, if you love Mexico, bitch, get the fuck over there. The outburst was met with shock and disbelief from the audience. The incident sparked a heated debate about the boundaries of comedy and the responsibility of comedians to be mindful of their words. While comedy often pushes the boundaries of political correctness, Williams's racial tirade crossed a line that left many questioning his intentions and the impact of his words. The incident also highlighted the power dynamics at play in the world of entertainment. As a performer, Williams held a position of influence and authority on stage. His words carried weight and had the potential to shape public opinion. The racial tirade against the heckler was a stark reminder of the responsibility that comes with such influence. In the aftermath of the incident, Williams faced backlash from both fans and critics. Many condemned his actions as racially insensitive and offensive. The incident also raised questions about the role of comedy in addressing sensitive topics and the importance of fostering an inclusive and respectful environment. In October 2012, Cat Williams found himself embroiled in yet another shocking incident that would further add to his tumultuous reputation. This time, the target of his aggression was a former assistant, and the consequences of his actions were severe. Reports emerged that Williams had taken the actions of his former assistant personally, leading him to lash out in a violent manner. It was alleged that Williams decided to physically assault the man, striking him with a closed fist, causing serious injury. The incident left the public stunned and raised concerns about Williams' volatile nature. The news of the assault sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry and left fans and critics alike questioning Williams' behavior. How could someone known for their comedic talents resort to such violence? It was a moment that challenged the public's perception of Williams and raised concerns about his personal life. In the aftermath of the incident, Williams faced legal consequences for his actions. The former assistant sued Williams for $5 million in damages, seeking justice for the harm he had suffered. The incident served as a reminder that no one is above the law, regardless of their fame or success. Despite the controversy surrounding the assault, Williams continued to perform, using his comedy as a means of escape and self-expression. He sought to address the incident and make amends for his actions, acknowledging the harm he had caused and expressing remorse. Cat Williams' legacy is one defined by sensational and shocking moments that have left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. From his arrests and legal troubles to his physical altercations and controversial outbursts, Williams' journey has been filled with highs and lows, triumphs and setbacks. His arrest at LAX for possession of a handgun showcased the consequences of his audacious actions, while his facing foreclosure highlighted the challenges of financial stability in the world of fame. The incidents of theft and assault revealed the desperation and volatility that can accompany personal struggles. Williams's racial tirade against a heckler and his assault of a former assistant exposed the complexities of fame and the responsibilities that come with influence. These incidents sparked conversations about the boundaries of comedy and the importance of using one's platform responsibly. Throughout it all, Williams's resilience and ability to find humor in the darkest of situations have shown through. His journey from the depths of personal and financial struggles to reclaiming his success has become a testament to his determination and growth. In the end, Cat Williams' legacy is one of redemption and personal transformation. It serves as a reminder that even those who stumble along the way can find the strength to rise again. Williams' story is a testament to the power of resilience, reminding us that our mistakes do not define us but rather how we choose to learn and grow from them. And so, as we reflect on the sensational and shocking moments that have shaped Cat Williams' legacy, we are reminded of the complexities of fame, the challenges of personal growth, and the enduring power of laughter. Thanks for tuning in. Click on the videos on your screen for similar content.